This final summary of the course considers uh, the two major goals within religious studies and also considers the currently dominating religions uh, globally and, uh, com uh, and relates them to current uh, major theories and uh, concepts within the religious studies uh, field. So the first major goal uh, in religious studies is to actually form a rigorous definition of religion, of the term religion. And even today, the term religion lacks a rigorous definition, uh, well-defined uh, definition. So several proposed definitions have been given uh, with uh, uh, reasons why they haven't been universally accepted. A good example of one definition proposed was given by uh, a scholar, E.B. Tyler, in which he defines religions as a belief in the existence of spiritual beings. Um, other, other proposed definitions of religions have also been uh, considered and are functionalist definitions of religions. Now, it is not a goal of religious studies to uh, refute or accept uh, the, any truth, any statements claimed to be true or beliefs held by religions. And as a result, um, views of religions only in terms of their functions have been uh, uh, considered by scholars in the field. And, the, and as a result, these functional definitions uh, have arose. Um, further, uh, I have uh, formed my own definition uh, throughout this course, and it has definitely changed from when, uh, from now, after this course, as compared to the beginning of this course. And my proposed definition of religion is that religion is a truth-seeking study, which does not reply re rely upon. Uh, confirming its any truth through the scientific method or any logical process. And uh, especially this applies to truth-seeking studies which rely upon human feeling or intuition. So a second major goal of religious studies is to uh, analyze aspects of um, current traditions current and ancient traditions which are commonly accepted as being examples of religions uh, in order to answer many questions uh, such as should a new tradition be considered a religion or be considered some other religion uh, tradition such as a cult and also um, should every aspect of an example of religion be considered religious, or should it be uh, uh, considered uh, an, a human attachment, which is not religious, some kind of social attachment or uh, attachment of religion, which serves some other non-religious purpose? So these are the, some of the questions which can be answered by the study of aspects of uh, modern examples of religions. Um, Several findings have been uh, and theories have been proposed as a result of the study of aspects of uh, examples of religions. One major theory in the field of religious studies is the theory of secularization, in which uh, it is a theory stating that humans, as they become more and more modernized, will drift away from needing religions and actually uh, be less religious. This has shown mixed results from which uh, we will explain later. Um, some other findings have been found in the comparative study of religions in which two religions are studied comparatively, which these religions are uh, closely similar to each other. And several findings have been uh, have arose from this comparative study. An example of uh, a comparative study of two religions is uh, through Christianity and Judaism, since they are closely similar. Um, additionally, uh, 
major groups of religions have been formed, uh, which groups them uh, based upon some of their major beliefs, uh, which are uh, asserted by the religion. Some of these major beliefs include a, a circular or linear view of time, um, monotheistic or polytheistic uh, belief, or whether the teachings and scriptures uh, included in the religion are uh, considered divinely influenced. Um, several observations have been made of aspects that are common in religions, such as one observation, uh, observation given by a Max Weber, in which he identifies three ideal religious leaders. Uh, these three are priests, magicians, and prophets as ideal religious leaders. So, those are the two major goals of religious studies. And now we uh, shift our um, uh, topic of discussion towards the currently dominating religions. So, these religions are um, dominating in terms of followers and uh, area of influence and are commonly known to be the dominating uh, religions, which are the major Western monotheistic religions. These include Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. So, if we look at E.B. Tyler's definition of religion, which is that religion is a belief in the existence of spiritual beings, these three, defini uh, these three examples of religions definitely apply to E.B. Tyler's definition, uh, classification of uh, religions, since they all hold uh, monotheistic views in a creator. So they do believe in the existence of a spiritual being. Further, these three examples of religions also fall into uh, my definition of religion, since the truth and um, statements of truth uh, within each three, each of these three religions, uh, do not rel rely upon the scientific method or a logical process, and the truth within them is instead uh, um, based upon uh, the fact that they were stated by prophets, which are uh, uh, claimed prophets in the religion. So Judaism states several prophets, including Abraham and Moses. Uh, the Christian religion uh, uh, also claims um, the same prophets of Judaism, with the uh, with the addition of uh, Jesus Christ. And the Islam religion also claims the same Judy, uh, Jewish uh, prophets with the addition of the prophet Muhammad. So, uh, finally, we consider the uh, one of the major theories uh, which in religious studies, which is the theory of secularization. And we find mixed results as stated by the text. Uh, so, some of the, uh, some of the, um, Findings in modern times, which uh, which supplement this theory and uh, confirm it, is that we have a growth in a uh, tradition known as atheism, which uh, presents a shift away from religions, and we also have a modern secularization happening in Europe right now, in which uh, people in Europe uh, are. Uh, drifting towards uh, not being as religious as they used to be. So um, we also have some uh, modern observations made which refute this definite, uh, which refute this theory of secularization uh, happening in the U.S., <clears throat> in which uh, we have a uh, sudden growth of uh, religion in the U.S. in general. Uh, people in the U.S. are more religious. And we also have a sudden modern resurgence of Islam in the world right now. So we, we have uh, uh, described uh, mixed results, mixed findings for confirming or denying the uh, theory of secularization.